This isn't as hard as it looks after you figure out what the guy meant. He's just telling you, hey, you're gonna need to go and get all this stuff. Okay. So the entrance of the maze is actually what I thought was the entrance to the tower. So I think it's back here. We can actually go this way. We couldn't do that before I thought, so I, I never got in here. I did get into the maze twice by accident. Probably got turned around and actually walked through there, not realizing it. Um, let's talk about this map. Raquia. Arquia. I called it Arquia, it's Raquia. There's Arca, no Arquia. So, yeah, it's annoying to have a screen this size to see this map, so that's why I have a version open on my desktop, so I can refer to it if need be. Um, so this here, I couldn't make out what it was. I thought maybe it was the tower, maybe it was like a meat grinder. I, they give you meat here. I don't know what the whole point of that is. These are actually earplugs. Why do they give you earplugs? We don't know yet. They do give you a pan flute. And I think the pan flute opens up whatever we need to open to get the last item, which is the actual key, which is the ring. The ring is right here. So we're just going to go and try to get all these items first. I think we'll have good luck doing it. Um, now that we know what the map is. So, just make sure the desktop map is up and running. Actually, it's a good idea to have the map open on screen while we do this. Let's give it a shot. We're going through these doors right now. Or this door. See the tower in the background? Ultimately, we gotta land there. Uh, we'll go... Go this way first. It doesn't matter. Actually, this is a dead end until you get into the maze. There's no right turns right now. The three items. Then we can go out and get our... Our ring, and hopefully he'll let us into the tower. Easy peasy, right? Let's see what we find. Boom! All right, we already found an item. This map. Is useful when it's open on screen at all times. When it's not, it's you gotta stop, you gotta open it, you gotta look at it, decipher it, figure out where you were at. It's, it doesn't have very good um, landmarks on it. So these, I'm guessing, are the earplugs. Earplugs. Why am I suddenly thinking of Odysseus? Should prevent us hearing anything we shouldn't, at least. I'm guessing, yeah. Like I said, that's probably to keep the pan flute from being heard. I'm probably right about that, I hope. Let's grab them. Now we have to find the piece of meat. Piece of meat should be in here somewhere. It's the second item on the list. There are traps in here too. I'm not sure that's one, but I'm going to jump over it. We found a... Basically a sinkhole last time that we fell into a couple of times. So we know about that. Um, I don't think there's anything here. The bench here, that's about it. But maybe there was an item on that bench. Let's 
back here. Despite the fact that there's a little confusion between what was said and the map and all that, I still really enjoy this game for what it is. It's a 1996 game, so I'm not going to hold much against it. Other than the fact that the key command, the key controls and commands are kind of ridiculous because you use the arrow keys. All right, here we found the tower. Can't go in there yet. Oh. That means we have to go and get the all the items. To you. The way is barred to you, spiritless beings. Return unto the gardens. That's what he told us. We need to get the key. And the key to it all is this ring. I'm not even using the map at this point. I just want to explore. Do that, and then... Holy crap. There's... Platform? Sewer platform last time. This game does have some platforming. Is there anything in here? Platforming's not that great in this game, but you, you just gotta time everything correctly. Walk on the platform while it's moving towards you. That's what you gotta remember. What else do we got? There's a lot in this game. It's a, it's a long game, too. We're already on stream 6, I believe, so... I'm not worried about taking forever to finish. I just want to enjoy it. It's a slow burn. Hope everybody had a good week. We are coming up on Friday tomorrow. Most of us will end the work week that day. Looking forward to the weekend. This is everyone else, I'm sure. If you're working this weekend, I apologize to hear that you're working, but hopefully the work days won't be bad. Real quick. So this has got to be a trap, right? Save it just to make sure. I don't even think it's something we could jump over, but we'll try it. We shall try. One second. Hold on, I just want to check a setting on my mic. So Logitech installed a new driver, probably not the microphone for this, but that usually seems to mess with my audio settings in OBS. I hate when it does that. Let me give it a little more gain just in case I'm drowned out by the game. Should be fine though. How are we going to do this? A is jump, so... Nothing happened. There's an outline there for some reason, but... They put some markers, they put like chainsaws in the grass or rather in the bushes, and then you got like these little spikes or whatever they are down below. This is the end. It's okay. When in doubt, always go back to the beginning and start over. The 
This is where we found the earplugs. You know, there looks like there's something up there. I can barely see it, whatever it may be. Yeah, there's definitely something up there. How do we call it down? Of course, he's not going to get any hints. So there must be a lover somewhere. Let's go find the lover. That leads us back here. We need to find a way to lower that platform. Clearly there's a way to do it. So there have been all these reports out. I don't know if they're rumors or not, but apparently Cartoon Network is getting discontinued. I don't understand why you would discontinue that channel of all channels. Discovery Time Warner wants to axe it. Personally, I think they should keep it. brand is very strong. Everybody's familiar with it. Kids love it. You're going to rebrand it to what? WB Animation? Like, does that make any sense? Why would you give it that name? Nobody cares about that name. I just hope they don't do away with a lot of shows, like all the Adult Swim content and all that. But what can we do? Everything's about money nowadays. Nobody cares about sacred things. I wonder if Boomerang is still around even. I think it is. I mean, we don't have... It's not on HD in our cable system, so I know... I know it's there. I've watched it a couple of months ago, but... Everything's Cartoon Network how it is. And Adult Swim. Nobody really gives love to Boomerang. But all the good old shows are there. I think last time I was on there I was watching Tom and Jerry. Favorite cartoon growing up when I was a little kid, before I graduated to the more mature shows like G.I. Joe and Transformers. And then Robotech, where cartoon characters actually died, which was a new concept to me. Nobody got shot or killed in Transformers, or rather G.I. Joe. Transformers, yeah, all right, they're robots. They take damage to get repaired. We're going to start using the map now. Let's find our way out to the beginning and then we're going to come back. So I think I'm going around in a circle. Yep. Yeah, if anything, they should sell off the assets to Cartoon Network. If they don't want to keep the WB's animation, which now includes MGM animation as well, they're better off selling it and making the money and just preserving the name Cartoon Network. You know, like Discovery Warner is going to be one of the worst mergers of all time. It's going to be worse than AOL, Yahoo, and whatever else merged at that time. Well, the music mergers of the late 90s and early 2000s were like... Seagram's and Universal Music Group merged and all this other crap and we lost like all these labels and people lost their contracts to produce albums. Alright, 
We're lost again. This is not what I wanted to happen. I have the map open. Like, to me, I, Cartoon Network's a way more respected cartoon name than, than Disney. I like, what is there to watch on Disney Network for me? Even the um, DuckTales remake was kind of cool. But then they were showing a new episode, like, once a month, and I was like, what is going on? Every time, like, I turned it on, it would be the same episode. I'm like... This is kind of lame. Like, put some money behind your product. Produce some episodes. Give us what we want. This is where the two benches are. Tweeting birds. All right. We need to find a way to the entrance or to where the um, tower is so that we have a spot on the map. Even if we find our way back to where we picked up the earplugs, we should be okay. map has barely any landmarks on it, so I'm just trying to find a place. That's the two benches again. We're really going around in circles. The best part about this, not too many bad guys. We haven't faced too many monsters. I think I'm going to have to go over that platform. I think that's the only way we haven't gone so far. We're kind of stuck in this area, just going around in circles. Actually, you know what? I could just reload and we'll be back. Or maybe not. <laughs> Ugh, we're back here again. I thought this was going to bring me back to before we crossed the platform, but I, I saved it before we went over that patch of grass that looked like a trapdoor or something. You can't really fault this game. It's a 1996 game, and this is what you expect from a 1996 game. I like it. Sometimes it looks like the textures are moving. I think it's because I'm playing this game at a higher resolution than it's meant to be played. I think the original resolution was like 400 by 320 or something. Picked up the earplugs, we need the meat, we need the plant. The, um, well, the meat we found. The meat is on that platform we need to lower. And then we need the pan flute. One of them will lead us, if not all of them, will lead us to the ring which is the key to open our way through the tower. Spooky tower. Why do I still feel like we're moving in circles? Everything here is the same. Looks the same. I thought these chainsaws would have served as better Better landmarks, but when 
you have so many of them, you really can't decipher which one's which. Okay, here's the pit. You do lose a lot of health by going, falling down into it. I did not realize it was here. And it resets itself, which is good. Because that means we haven't gone through here yet. Or at least walked that way. Or have we? We go inside here. This is not the worst maze in the game, though. I've been warned. I have been warned. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to trigger that, but it got triggered. Quite all right. Look at this map. We are here. The tower is. Let's turn around. Go down. Make a right. Left. Left. Now where do we want to go? We want to make this right. Okay, according to this, the ring is on that side. <gasps> oh, it killed us. That's a good place to save. Reload it. There is a way, if you press spacebar when you die, you get to resave the game. Back to where, or reload the game back to where you died. I forgot to do that. If you press escape, it resets the game, which brings you to the beginning, but then you can load a save, which is not too bad. So now it's just a matter of getting back to where the ring is. Or it could be the pamphlet. I'm assuming it's the ring. Based on this map. I assume too much now. Look, even if we go back to where the tower is and we can't get in, No, wait, oh, I'm like teetering on the edge. That was bizarre, it pointed me downward. Is this, this anything? Never saw that before. Even if we can't get into the tower, like I said, we'll use it as a landmark. It'll tell me where exactly we are on this map. It's so confusing. I'm looking at it right now. I couldn't tell you where we are. I'll bring it up on the screen when we actually make it somewhere.
Oh, this is new. Okay, let's save it here. Maybe what we found was a ring. It wasn't any of the other items. I would have sworn it was like a lamb or whatever we need to collect, which is kind of odd. Um, take a look at this map. We can see where we're at. So there's platforming here. My guess is we're here. This is where the pan flute is, possibly. This looks like where the where we were where we died. That's where the ring is, but we need the pan flute first and foremost, possibly. just walk on the platform. I think they just rise and lower. So we gotta jump on them when they're pretty high, otherwise we'll suffer some damage, I think. Oh my goodness, we need to jump onto that one. We gotta time this right. Something's not helping. It's gotta be lower than us. Every game from this era decided to add jump damage. Just gonna dump one out of here. It's gotta be a way to jump onto that one. We need a running start, maybe? Yep, that's how you do it. You run across. Give this another try. I made the first one easy, so if you fall off, you can at least get back on it. Otherwise, there's a new way out of this, this part. I'll set it to run. Nope. They turn running off. Is this running? Feels like it. Yep. It's on now. I think this one gets high enough for me to jump across. Hold on. Yep, we got it. Here's the pamphlet. Let's take a look at both items we have. Got some explanation of it. Seems to be a set of pan pipes. They've got something written on them. My voice unheard, no openings make, but only play barriers break. Sounds like an instruction to me. Seems to be a set of pan pipes. Sounds like... Maybe we play this to get inside? That could be it. Then we have the earplugs. Earplugs. Why am I suddenly thinking of Odysseus? Should prevent us hearing anything we shouldn't, at least. So we have the pan flute. I think we're not supposed to hear the pan flute on the music. It took much damage. Looks like it took a little bit of damage, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's take a look at this map. We're coming back from where the pan loop was.
Okay, looks like we need to go this way. There. I screwed it up. Let's go back to where the pan is. I don't even know what's in this um, tower. I think it's like a test or something we need to survive. It usually is. This game has many quests to it. Alright, so we're here. We're gonna go this way. We can go left or right. Go right. I don't know why it looked like the door was closing. Right, left. Wait, why is this two way? And you're right, left. Yeah, now I'm completely turned around again. Start this over. Right. 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 We do go left. Here we go right. This is correct. We're going to make a left here. That's a second left. <laughs> right. This where it is. No sense of direction. That's me. Okay, let's see what happens if we play the pan through. Nothing. Again, there is an item up there. I, I don't know... I don't know if it's the ring or not. I thought it was the meat that we need to collect. It's probably the ring. Yeah, that doesn't look like meat to me. I mean, if it is the beat, it doesn't make any sense to me because at least if you follow this map, it doesn't make any sense. Let's go back there. Watch, we can't find it now. Let's see what needs to be done because we're not getting any hints on that, and we should be getting hints from either, either character, <clears throat> either Elizabeth or Adam should be saying something about this. There's no, like, no way to trigger anything. Hold on. Just, just, just. 
Take a quick look up the walkthrough. So we're at the platform. First collect the earplugs, take the first left to get them, and go to the jeweled haunch. Keep left and you'll find it. Jeweled haunch. We didn't see that. Why is this referred to as a jewel haunch? There's something we're missing here because... Is this something? It is. That's what we're missing. So, it is a jewel. A jeweled haunch of meat, I believe. Somebody went and made a bedazzled, bejeweled rack of lamb. <clears throat> what is the purpose to this? I have no idea. But it's here and it's a key item. For something. Guess we'll find out at some point. What the hell is this? A jeweled haunch of meat, I believe. The fact that she has to tell me what it is, she must know what it is. Okay, so we have the three items. Now... Now let's use the map. So, for those of you watching, since I'm using an external map from the game, it's the same exact map, it's just, it's full on screen. So now we just found whatever we need to find here. Next step is to get to where the ring is. I believe we need the ring to get in. That's the only other item that we find. And we gotta conquer this tower. So, plenty ahead. But always having the map open is helpful. Especially in this game. No, I can't see the map, I covered it up. We're leaving the bejeweled meat area. And now we make a left. Make a left at the end of this, and then a right. Then it should be another left, and at the end of this, we make a right. This is a trap, isn't it? It's not. Okay, doesn't want to be. Doesn't have to be. Okay, I believe there's a secret here. Maybe this is why we need the pamphlet. Nothing happened. I want to think that there's a door here, and that leads us to the ring. We've passed by this a million times. I don't see any levers like we did on the last match. has to be it, because the map's got two little squares to the side of this little alcove. There's no other way in. It's 
this have something to do with it? Even though with the earplugs on, don't think it makes a difference. Not even sure we know what to play at this point on the pan of blue. Nada. This is not where the ring is. Oh, we're completely off. Let me show you. See it on the map. Not use the map. Now we can. All right. So I thought we were here. We were going to find like a secret entrance in here. We need, actually need to backtrack the whole way around. We need to be by the castle and then we got to do all these platform jumps, which are going to be a pain in the neck in this game. Um, so we need to wrap around the whole entire way. Go through here, come back here. Pretend we're going to the actual tower. Instead of making a left here, we go straight down and then we'll be there. Then we'll have to figure that part out. It's all good. Let's go straight. Actually, I think we're going the wrong way here. Based on this map. Those are the two benches. We are going the right way. We were supposed to make the first line. So now, scroll down on the map. Now we go straight, make the first left. We make this left. We have this little alcove here. Go right, and then through here. To where the tower is. I hope. Nope, we just went straight for where the ring is. Okay, let's save it here. This is a good place to save scum, I think. This game is not a platformer. They tried. Let's save. We just changed the name of the save. You gotta hit okay, otherwise it doesn't work. No! Can't swim. We gotta time this right. I don't know if we can. How about now? Could have jumped it. Be here all night trying to wait for these things to line up. Oh, it's gonna line up. 
No, it doesn't. Hmm. Solar system. Venus I'm dying, but I want to watch the solar the system. Star. What are you saying? Oh! Yeah, I can just walk forward there. <clears throat> Nor would I be able to angle it and then jump, I guess. Maybe I could. Oh! It's gonna take many tries, is it? We knew that, alright. There's just no oh! way. Unless we run it? Can running it work? Almost. It almost got us. Oh! Keep running on. It's all keyboard and mouse, folks. Alright. Let it come across again. Why did it leave us off? Oh, oh, oh! We made it, but I had run on and I fell off. I think the only way to do it is if you run. Do not platform in this type of game. FPS games should have no right platforming. These old FPS games. I know they wanted variety in the game, that's why they created this. We're going to save scum. Run mode off. Run mode on. Okay. So we're on the first platform. Save it. The horrible thing about this is we get a platform all the way back. And once we get to the other side, I get the ring. Again. Oh! No, I soft lock myself. Are you kidding oh! me? Oh! Wow, this game, let me tell you. Are you kidding me? Good thing I had a second save. Be patient. If you could run across, then you could just probably walk across. Right here. This is where they come closest. Save that. So we gotta wait for these two to match up. Oh, are you kidding me? It restarts me in the water each and every time. Oh, they did this on purpose so like, you can't save scum. Just fall right into the water when I load. Let's be smart about this. Oh! This is somewhat rage inducing. Not gonna quit. Throw some salt on it. Now we have to be in position to get these two to match up. This one's going so slow though, I'm gonna say it takes at least two times. Or even the one on the left. If it matches up with the one on the left, then we're good. Either the left or the right. It's gonna be the right, ain't it? Yep. 
Almost fell off. Ah, almost fell off at the end too. Here's the ring. Bingo. Look at it. This looks like a magical item. Can't tell much about it. It looks incomplete. You're right. There was a gemstone in that socket at some point. And it... Well, it... It, it feels incomplete. Do we have anything we could add to it? Possibly... A green crystal? Or maybe the haunch goes in it? It's bizarre if it does. Can't use this with the haunch. Okay. I think we needed all the items. If we didn't have all the items, we wouldn't be able to get into the tower, castle, whatever it is. Even though this is incomplete, we might get what we need to complete it later. Oh, there's actually a staircase here that I didn't see, and we could actually run out of the water. I didn't realize that was an option. We'll have no health. It'll all be depleted, but we can run away. Water is not our friend here. We do have health potions. I, I'm really stingy with using them, though. You don't find too many in this game. It's not as easy as you would think, given the level of difficulty. Which is okay. Ah, run up, run up. It's okay because it adds to the challenge. It's the platforming I really don't like. You can cheese your way around enemies to preserve health. You just gotta run away from them and just keep hitting them from afar. This isn't like a true FPS game or anything like that, but it does have... Um, shooting. Just not very good shooting. So easy to overrun that. Oh! I knew I was gonna fall off. I was teetering on the edge. As soon as I moved, get stable ground there. It just did not work. We gotta go back and forth a while here. So we're in chapter 10. I believe there's actually 20 chapters in this game. 18 or something like that. Fair amount. It's a long game. The goal of the game is to find out what happened to Adam, the main character's um, father. Figure out who this Belial guy is. He's like a demented doctor. met him earlier in the game, although he's probably changed forms by now. Why do you appear as a doctor? I have no idea. I think he's the enemy of the game. The main boss. Or whomever we need to destroy at the end of the game, possibly. Alright, we did it. It's safe to be on the safe side. Okay, I need to step away from the computer for a second. Don't go away. Now we just gotta make it back to the fort, or the tower, whatever you want to call it. In the meanwhile, enjoy these horror trailers.
the dark of the night, something strange is going on. The dead have risen from the grave, and now the question is, how do we get them back into the ground? Because technically, you're not alive. Why do you eat people? Not people. Brains. The return of the living dead. What would you do if you accidentally discovered the house next door was occupied by something not human? Something horrifying. Something unspeakably evil. No one believes you. Mom, I didn't have a nightmare. Not your mom. They did kill a girl over there. Not your girlfriend. Charlie, is this some sort of a trick to get me back? Not even the police. Look, I know it's crazy, I know that, but look, Lieutenant! It knows that you know. You'll do anything to protect yourself. But it will do anything to protect its secret. Scared. This could be the night of your life. This is a house where no one should live. Woman lived here before you was nuts. Wouldn't be surprised if someone just got fed up and off her. She was my aunt. Heart of gold, though. Roger Cobb has come here alone. Daddy? <laughs> but no one is ever alone in the house. This house knows everything about you. <laughs> Leave while you can. No! It has been waiting for him. Sandy. Now. It wants you. Horror has found a new home. House. Enter. House was a ridiculous horror movie. I remember seeing commercials for it back in the day. Then I finally watched it on syndication and it was like, why did I try and watch this? <laughs> Got some cheese to it. You can see it's just a stereotypical horror film that takes place in a house. It's not Amityville horror, that's for sure. So, this is the way. Oh, we walked over that somehow. We ran over it. We didn't fall in. Now we're completely lost again, trying to get to... the 
tower. We're over where the meat was. Let me use a map. Getting tired of these birds. I want to get out of here. I hope the tower has the for music. Definitely in the wrong place. Why does this map not match up to where I am? That bench signaled we were where the bejeweled piece of meat was. Clearly that's not where we were. Be so happy when we're out of this maze. Four lefts don't make a right. <clears throat> okay, these are the two benches. Let's start from there. Go left here. Go to the end, make a right. Go to the end of this. Right, so we're going all the way down. Make the first left. And then here the second one. This way. Let's see if we could actually get into the tower with the items we have. He said the ring is the key. Why do we keep ending up here? I know why. to go that way. There we are. If you look on the map, we are here now. Let's see if we can get in. Hopefully that's the start of chapter 11. So we've been in chapter 10 for a while now. Sometimes I don't think I'm hitting okay when I save and I get paranoid, so I gotta go back and redo it. <laughs> we were. Alright. The way is open to you, bearers of the ring. So you just let us in because we had the ring. Impressive. Very impressive. An elephant. Jesus. What? It's a goddamn lion in here. Quiet. Oh my god. It's a robotic if lion. Hears us, we've lost already. Holy cow. It's one of the lions from Voltron. The yellow lion. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What weapon do we have? Can I fight it? Didn't seem to hurt it. Can we proceed without killing it? Yeah, we can just bypass it, maybe. Please? Nope. 
He runs after us in there. He must die. This is the only weapon that's been useful to us the entire game. I mean, we stopped using the shotgun and the pistol earlier. I'm gonna try some powered up shots, which is why I'm running around. Just to make sure all those skulls above are white and not purple. And that they're filled in so I can get a really good shot on it. There's no... Some of these enemies grunt when you hit them. This one's not. So who knows if we're actually damaging it. Yeah, I have no idea there. Are we really damaging a metallic lion running after us? Speaking of Voltron, I want to go back and watch the original episodes. I think my wife had them on DVD. That show was so good back in the day. The original. Whatever remakes they did on Cartoon Network were just crap. They did bring it back with the original animation style, but I think it got cancelled or something. I remember like a couple episodes of it and that was it. Like took place after the first or second season was over of the original series. Prince Lotor was always my favorite character. He was truly evil. Was it Prince Lotor? Was that who the villain was in Voltron? He had the king. He had the king and then you had a son. And I think the king dies at some point. This is not working. Let's change up weapons. Big Voltron fan back in the day. He doesn't even say anything when he goes to the gates, like, can't open it. We absolutely have to defeat this thing. It's like, where did he go? He's right there. My theory and the theory of others who have played this game, we all think this weapon is useless. But I have to try it here. What if we use the pan flute? Would the pan flute help? Does it lull them to sleep? He's still alive. Let's try something here different. Let's use a shotgun. I don't think it has an effect on him. My only guess is that the pan flute needs to be used at the entrance. And if he's like running up behind us, then we can't really use it. Yeah, nothing's opening. No, do not quit the DOS. This enemy cannot be killed. Cannot be killed. 
Is there a way past it? Try it again with the staff. Trying to think. If we can't kill it, how do we pacify it? What would a lion want? You know what? Wait a minute. What if we use a hunch of meat? The ring doesn't work, right? Using ring. Ring worn. Doesn't make a difference. Let's try the meat. Cannot use the haunch. Come on. It's gotta be a way to use it. Give it to it. Oh, wait, something happened. We gave it the meat. We okay, preoccupied him with the meat. He's having fun. Just like that, we're inside. Awesome. Hopefully he doesn't run after us. I think the ring let us inside because we were wearing it. Alright, onward. This is still chapter 10. There's no formal change to chapter 11 as far as I know. Still just as much a maze. The only difference is we don't have a map now. Do we? Dark chart, ring guide, map of the maze. Map of the tower, we do have, and it's complete, so we do have a map of the tower. Is it this tower? We've been in one or two before. This does not look like the correct tower. I don't have a map for here. That other tower map was for when we teleport around. There's got to be a map in the house. Otherwise, how do we find our way about? Small pool of water here? Is there anything in the water? Oh. That's some graph paper. I'd make my own map. Let's keep exploring until we find something. Anybody's played this before and has an idea, I'll take a hint. First playthrough, which is why this is taking a while. What is... Oh, I think there was something down there. It's just... The, sh the blurry texture of this thing. What are we even looking for here? Windows. 
when the characters first get here, they're like, oh, this place is serene and beautiful. Which it sort of is, because there's like one enemy only, or two at most. You keep eating that. It's made out of gold, so hopefully you'll never be able to finish it. Break your teeth on it. Your metallic teeth. Emilio warned me. He said there was a much bigger maze than the one I was in. The one outside here. Maybe this is it. Waking Raziel. The Void Waking Raziel. More platforming, huh? It's down the stairs. Set off the bell, it'll wake Raziel. Whatever that means. If we go on these silver plates, I think that's what causes it to react. So sure we're supposed to be down here. I think we're supposed to just platform across somewhere. It's not like there's a door here. Well, there is up there. That our angle. Hey, Origin. Does Nyx even play retro horror games? He does. Oh, yes, he does. How's it going? Finally made some progress. We got through that maze. Apparently, what we were told and what the map was looking at or showing us was completely different. The peaceful butterfly maze. Yes, we put that behind us. Thankfully, I don't have to listen to the birds anymore. We need to get to somewhere in this maze on this side. This is another maze. A maze within a maze. We need to get through that door. Came from that end. I think this is what Camilla was talking about, that... There was this another maze that was far worse. I don't have a map to this area. There's a ladder. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. Be curious to see what happens if the bell goes off. Oh, the other maze is later? Okay, so we're not even there yet. I was all happy. I'm like, oh, we made it through the initial maze. I don't even think we're in chapter 11 yet. I think we're in chapter 10 still. So it's not about stepping on the silver stuff. It's falling. And the falls are what trigger... The falls are what trigger the bell. Any, 
And the cool thing is, they made this game so you, you can't save scum. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. It's already off. We tried save scumming on the platforms in the other maze, and if you load the game, it puts you in the same position you were in, but the platform is not underneath you. So you just die. Fall into the water and die. Clever bastards, huh? Let's see if we can do this without falling to the ground. Took away, essentially, the chance to save scum. killed many heroes and heroines. Yes, it has. Starting with the Wizard of Oz. Killed one of our greatest heroines of all time, the Wicked Witch of the West. Who's not evil. Just having a bad day. She was allergic to dogs. Hey Braxton, how's it going? We're in a new area now. We're in the tower that's beyond the maze. Glad to hear. And we're trying to navigate this. There's a door on the other side here somewhere. We need to get there. Without basically touching the floor. Ugh. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. I figured going right rather than waiting for the other platform would have been easier, but sadly not. that hard once you know where you're going. We could jump across there and avoid this platform altogether. We need to get to that door, as you can see. Just gotta face forward like that almost missed it wait is that a lover why is there a lover here is there anything we could use doesn't seem to have done anything Tried it. Can't let that bell go off, otherwise some big nasty monster will show up. Oh, almost fell right off. Definitely at the halfway mark of this game, though, no, that's for sure. Don't budge. 
Can you read music? Yes. It looks more like a fanfare than a tune, though, if you know what I mean. Let's try using the pad flute. Bingo. There you go. Glasses. What's that then? It's a flask full of oil, judging by the smell. Sure Ultimate came out today? For something. I'll have to take a look at it. I didn't know for sure that it, came, it was coming out this month. Or it was like next month or something. The flask. It's a flask full of oil, judging by the smell. I'm sure it'll come in useful for something. I have this magnifying glass. This is exquisite. Look at the work around the glass. I'd say it was French if it wasn't for the peculiar design. I don't remember picking that up even. It just happens to be in our inventory. And then we picked up glasses just now, I thought. Unless it was a magnifying glass. Spectacles. This is what we spectacles. There's magic woven into them. Something to do with sight. Needs blood multiplayer, obviously. Yes, it does. Would it work with blood press supply, or does it have to be blood? These be worn. I don't think we're supposed to use them yet. Nothing in there. Someone treads you. Someone wait. All right. That was a warning. Let's put a weapon in our hand. I don't know. Uh, I think they're for later on. I guess we're not supposed to stay in that room for too long. Let's go collect the glasses again. I think we need to. They're like rainbow colored, so they must reveal something at some point in the game. Bingo. I'd rather have been crushed by the door than whatever, whatever else happened. Try it again. There's a door on the other side, so maybe we just run through. Oh god. Locked. Oh, you know what? What if we keep the earplugs on? We won't hear any of that sound. Locked. Maybe that's why we couldn't go through here. We need earplugs. Locked. No, we're not meant to go in that room. It's an ominous warning, but we stuck fast. We should heat it. Bingo. Stay away from the door itself. Nothing hidden here. No. Is it me, or is that door moving? It's not you. Look. The mouth and the face is moving. Halt, ring bearer! Know this! To enter, you must speak unto me the words of passing. The warning is given. What do you think, Rebecca? Well, we're in Raquia, and we're after the Key of Tears. So how about Raziel, Raquia, or Key of Tears? Maybe we should come back later. It's your decision, though. I'm gonna guess we don't have what it takes to get through this. Yeah, it is not moving. It's it's a static texture on the wall. But maybe they just couldn't animate, uh, animate it. What about the key, key of tears? The words of passing are key of tears. Open to me now. Ring bearer, the password is false. The war 
Oh my goodness, we're playing this game now. We just die every time we can't open a door. Bingo. My favorite part of the game. Death upon death for checking on opening the wrong door. Nothing in there. What the heck is that? Make sure we have a weapon. Um, we gave it the wrong password, so we died automatically. And in the other room that we kept dying in, I don't think we're supposed to enter that room. I put the earplugs on so I wouldn't hear, and it seemed like we were okay, but then it just appeared and killed us, so... We gotta figure out that room, too. Every room in here is a puzzle, it seems. Hopefully she won't kill us. <gasps> this might be why we have the um, earplugs. Let me try going in there with it on. Stop fast. I don't think we need the glasses yet. Glasses might be for a different door. We need a plan B. Yes, we do. Plan B is called a walkthrough. Seems to be a set of pan pipes. They've got something written on them. Sounds like an instruction. Bingo. Yes, so in that case, you're using... You're using the pamphlet. It would be obvious. It's the only thing we can make of music with. A pair of spectacles. There's magic woven into them. Something to do with sight. Something to do with sight. This is all very random at this point. Let's put on the earplugs for a minute. No, they don't. They're all, like, wavy and stuff. <gasps> like, I can't even walk further far enough in that room without getting myself killed. Like, I know I could talk to her. It looks like I can. So the earplugs do nothing for us there. If it's gonna give me the spectacles, let's let's see if we could use the spectacles somewhere. At this point in the game we're guessing. Bingo. Rooms of death. But we have rooms of death. We try this one again. Let's try it with the earplugs. Someone treads my someone wakens me. Ah boy, son of Adam. You have broken my laws despite the warnings. So be it. While your soul remains here in the tower, your world shall perish. That is your punishment. Let internment commence. Oh, God. Oh, God. Very dramatic. We got an imaginary um, bridge up there. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That might have been what killed us in the other room that we didn't see. Yeah. Like you're gonna really kill it by punching it. Back to the step. The greatest not so great weapon I've ever had.
They keep coming out. Where are they coming out from? There's three of them now all of a sudden. Four of them. Zeta. Draconic, how are you? Zena, welcome. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. That noise it seems to be coming from this statue. We're in a very, very bad part of the game. Where we die, there's death behind each and every door. Tired but good. Yep. Same here. It's been a long day. Realms of the Hollow thing is good. I like it. We got a little stuck in the maze before this, but now I'm completely stuck in this area. We're supposed to put items on to keep us from dying in each room we enter. He just said there's a noise coming from the statue, so I'm assuming we need... We need earplugs here. Who knows? It's trial and error. Ambrosino. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Yeah, we are playing Realms of the Haunting. I believe we're in Chapter 11 or the end of Chapter 10. We're in a tower. We just came through a maze. So we're halfway through the game. And it's been getting progressively harder. It's a matter of learning how to get past these puzzles. And once you do, it's not that bad, so... Let me give Herxina a shout out. Herxina is a retro streamer, definitely if you're not following him. Check out his stream. today, Herx, you know, I know it's going to say retro probably, but there's a link to the stream. Are you playing Soma! Not a retro game, but an awesome game. I love Soma. Soma's a great horror game. In my opinion, at least. Hope you're liking it. Excellent game, in my opinion. I think I played that in April. I sure played it as a horror game, but it was a viewer's choice, so... No retro tonight. So much going good. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it is an excellent game. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I never thought twice about it. I was always like, eh. From the guys who made, uh, what did they make? I made some other horror games. Um, it's at the tip of my tongue, I can't remember. It was a trio. Yeah, but... So I didn't think highly of the other horror games, and then when this game was presented to me, I'm like, eh, how good can it be? And it was, it was awesome. Very good game. It's gonna bother me now. Let's... Thelma was made by... Amnesia, there you go. Thank you. I didn't remember, it was the Amnesia series. Draconic, you're liking Soma? Definitely play it. I think God gave it for away for free a while back, but I don't know how I ended up with it. I think it might have been free on Amazon Prime or something. And I was like, yeah, I'll never play this, but... Viewer's Ooh. choice. Viewers always recommend good games, so work out. I rarely play games twice. I think that's one I would. Please let this be a map of this place. Oh god. I can't go into any room, can I? Without either dying or being attacked. This is so far the hardest part of the game. One wrong move, 
off and that bell's gonna go off. Bad idea. I didn't think I forgot that there was no ground bell I had. We're kinda stuck here. I'm contemplating using eventually a walkthrough or something just to get past this, but before we get there, let's give it a couple more tries because we just got here. Bingo. That room has a map. Nothing seems to be working for me here. What goes in this area? It's a flask full of oil, judging by the smell. I'm sure it'll come in useful for something. Can we put the oil in here? Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? Nothing in there. Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? Got anything? This? Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? find our glasses. I have a feeling that the glasses might make us actually see this bridge. We just found the glasses, right? We're wearing them. Is it me, or is that door moving? It's not you. Look, the mouth on the face is moving. Use your imagination, it's clearly not moving. Is it me, or is it's not you? Look. Halt, ring bearer! Know this! To enter, you must speak unto me the words of passing. The warning is given. We don't have whatever the password is to get in. Once I go into that room, I start dying. This one has the map, but as soon as I go in there, it unleashes all the monsters. Let's try this one. God, it's cold in here. Someone wait. Oh God! Again, it awakened all the monsters. Actually, just killed us before we. Let's try that room again, and let's try it with the earplugs. If we don't hear the guy, maybe we can't get killed. Bingo. Like six or seven rooms here, and we need to solve the puzzle for each and every one. It's gonna keep me alive. God. Someone, someone wakens me. Oh, God. Nah, we get hit with a fireball. Could be an invisible enemy, right? Didn't mean to go back to chapter one. Again, it's a matter of finding the right object. Bingo. We'll wear the glasses this time. A pair of spectacles. There's magic woven into them. Something. Okay, so we actually have a mom this time. If I go into this room, wearing them, will it actually show me whoever's shooting at me? Then I can dodge. Maybe have a fighting chance. God, it's 
someone wakens me. Oh god. Nope. Just a one hit kill. Brings you back to the beginning of the game. Um, let's try for a hint. This says to use the specs at some point. You need to go into a room and there's a pair of specs that I know. By the way, Amber Zeno, thank you for the follow. I don't know why the, the alert go off. I'm only seeing it on my activity feed. Or here, maybe it's just not working on which, or I screwed that up. Stop fast. Can you read music? Yes. Looks more like a fanfare than a tune, though, if you know what I mean. I closed the door as soon as it opened. Let's wear the glasses and let's walk into the room. I gotta reveal something. What? We'll find out. Doesn't reveal anything here. What about the lower right? I can see. Locked. That one's locked. I'm not wearing them, that's the problem. A pair of spectacles. There's mad. I gotta actually use them though. I gotta. There we are. Oh, look at this. Okay. Tripwire. Lasers. Trip lasers. That's why we kept dying. We couldn't see them. Anything? Yeah, so welcome to Halloween for those of you who are new to the channel. This is my month of playing spooky games. We just walk around these things. Playing this, we're playing the expansion pack of Doom 3, and then we're gonna play Curse Mountain. There's another adventure game. Yes, perfectly logical diagram. <laughs> yep. Shall we examine it some more? This is I thought this was a map. Parchment. Something written on it. Looks new. Parchment. Looks new. Spirit? Could this be the word that we need, the password that we need, or looking for? I'm jump over this. We know what we're doing here. See if it's the password. This is probably why we were dying in the other rooms. We didn't have the glasses on. Halt, ring bearer! Know this! To enter, you must speak unto me the words of passing. The warning is given. Spirit. Guardian? 
The word of passing is spirit. Open to me. Here we go. Oh, fire. It's a ceramic flask, warm to the touch. There's some sort of hot liquid inside. No obvious smell or anything. I'm sure it'll come in useful for something. Wow, the flame dissipated after we did that. this room one more time. Need to be wearing the glasses. Camilio. Hey Camilio, thank you for resubscribing. Appreciate it. How was Resident Evil 2? I watched some of it before I streamed. Quiet, Adam. If Raziel hears us, we've lost already. Hopefully we survive that. It's such a great game. RE3 tomorrow. Nice. RE2 is probably my favorite of the ones. I'm, re I'm replaying all the Resident Evil games offline. It's taken a while, but I'm up to Code Veronica. RE2, I played the remake this time around, which is really good. It's probably the best remake. I mean, I think it's better than the third remake. The remake of 3. But when I recently played RE3, I played the original, and it's it's really good. It's not as good as RE2, in my opinion, but it's good. This is where we got the letter, right? So we went in there with the spectacles. It's going to be your first playthrough of RE3. You're going to enjoy it. Game Boy remake? No Resident Evil 4, I guess, right? You're just doing the original 3. Still, good games. You don't need RE4. Alright, so I'm doing this just so I know if I go in here with the earplugs on. I'm wearing them. God, it's cold in here. Someone wake. Fired at us. So we don't use earplugs in there. And now the monsters are coming. And there we die. So what do we put on to get a, into these rooms? They were so short, going to do some System Shock 2 with the Lot October. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they're short depending on if you played them before, but if you... It's the wrong one, is it? No, because I'm wearing the earplugs, so it might be the right one. The one room is freezing cold. I've seen it, Draconic. I've been wanting to play it, I just not had the time. But it's a great D make from what I saw. I do want to try it. The walls. Shoot the walls. Use your magic on the walls. Warm up the walls. I only played a bit of the intro and I liked it. Yeah, it, it seems worth playing. 
Especially since I really don't have any other way of playing Bloodborne. I don't have a PS system. Or current one, at least. Current gen. Works a treat in those doors, huh? Still some left, too. It's a flask. Full of oil, judging by the smell. I'm sure it'll come in useful for something. Works at treating those doors. Camelio, what did you think of this part of the game? For all the puzzles. The fact that every door opens up to a new puzzle. I love every part. This part was fine. You figured it out. You like the puzzles? I don't mind the puzzles. It's just a little vague here. Locked. If you have a door that's stuck, you're supposed to use this. Can we use this? Passing is spirit. Open to me. The only part I didn't like was the brain maze. You know when you get there. Yeah, you warned me about that one. People have talked about it too. The last maze I got through because what I did was I downloaded the map and just had it open on the screen. So I didn't have to actually keep opening it up and coming back here. Which helped a lot. What did we get out of here? The flask with liquid. Florentine staff. Where is the flask? This is what we found in the room with the table. Where's the item we found here? bizarre. I'm missing the item. The flames are gone now. Perhaps because we took that flask. What if we put the flask back in? I'm assuming the flask is this thing with the oil. There's no other flask in our inventory. Flames are gone now. Perhaps because we took that flask. Works a treat in those doors, huh? Still some left, too. It's a flask, full of oil, judging by the smell. I'm sure it'll come in use. Full of oil. Can't seem to go in here without dying. Tried the earplugs. We tried. Tried the glasses. Yeah, no, eventually you find hints for everything. There are some cases where you could bypass those hints by accident. They're all here. It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Can't place it, though. It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Can't place it, though. I don't know the story of Odysseus, so I, I probably am missing out on that puzzle. Every time I walk in there, I die.
basically everything. The only thing I picked up was the... I went to the room that needed the... Required the, um... The glasses to get passed through because of the laser wires. Let's try the... Oh, okay. Something with earplugs in Odysseus. We got that. It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Can't replace it, though. What do we do here? Siren, yes. She gives you the clue. They they mention that the earplugs are like Odysseus, so... It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Can't place it, though. The study key? Why is that in his hand? It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Can't place it, though. Got it. Something we need to do here. What about the flask? Now use the flask. I'm done here? It was just to see the statue. And on the woman. We got the key, but the key says it's study key. Don't we? Didn't we have the study key from the beginning? This is the key we got. Nicely worked silver key. For the locked door. Okay, got it. It was on her neck. Didn't realize that. This is the locked door. Graham. See where the sky bridge lies, opening our hearts and our minds. Take everything. One of these must open the sky bridge. One that fits in there. This one, perhaps. Nothing, nothing, nothing in there. Nothing, right? It's an emerald. A variety of beryl. Turquoise. Your pronunciation's terrible, Adam. It should be pronounced turquoise. So a tortoise is actually a tortoise, then? A tortoise. I like that. Uh, no. Don't know what this is. It's an amethyst, a type of quartz. Tortoise. This is a topaz. Right, but it's false topaz. Transparent yellow variety of quartz. You don't say. Amber. Fossil resin. Go back to that room. Maybe we just needed to rearrange it. Nah, there's no indication as to what order these should go in. We should just take them, take them with us. Okay, we're gonna die in this room because they're gonna unleash monsters, but let's save it. Mm -hmm. 
Do I wear the emeralds? That's the question. See what he says when we walk in. Someone wakens me. Ah, boy. Oh, God. Let's listen to what he says before he kills us. I didn't listen to everything he said for some reason it just cut off there's that room and then there's this room which has a scroll or something to it it's in the corner to our right amber fossil resin can't combine these two right of course not Could be missing an item. We'll we don't know for sure. God. Someone wakens me. Ah, oh, boy. Son of a Oh God. Yeah. We got two rooms left. We need to figure this out. All the monsters are coming out. Endless amount of monsters. Close though, two rooms to go. dead. It's probably an infinite amount of monsters that come out. I don't think there are any items that we completely missed or forgot here. I'm not sure what's left, other than these two doors. And we can't get in without triggering this whole monster effect. kill one of them. Maybe I need to kill all of them. There's just no way around it. Because then this staff doesn't do much when it's underpowered. They don't give me an indication of who you hit, like, full blast or anything like that. They don't have health meters. We're done. Which Charlie Brown is this? I thought it was uh, Linus. DRS, thank you for the sub. Q, Q. Too bad this isn't a regular shooter. We would have been pretty good at it. But 
an adventure game, and I'm enjoying it. But welcome. We're having a good Thursday night. Linus dancing on the piano. That's what it might be. It's it's really small, so I, it's hard to make out. I know it's not Charlie Brown, though. It's probably Linus. Or one of the background characters they never named. Oh my goodness, enough with this. Either kill me. Alright. This is before I think we got all of those um, gems. Fake gems, real gems. No, it's after. The kid with a dirty blanket is Pigpen. I want to say that is Charlie Brown, but it looks like he's got hair on his head. I'll take a look at it. I have the original emote. Yeah, Pigpen is the one that's dirty. Linus is the one with the... Um, the blanket, right? Security blanket? Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? Tried almost everything. Nothing in there. Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? We got a million gems here. None of them are of any use. Schroeder was a piano player? Yes, it was. He was the one that Lucy was in love with. What would you call this, Rebecca? A sapphire. What would you call this, Rebecca? A sapphire. Little dull look. This could be what we need. Nothing in there. Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? Doesn't fit in there. This one? Looks like something should. Got anything, Adam? I feel like we were, uh, pixel hunting. This he got hots for teacher. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I just like the fact that he played the piano, I think. My favorite Charlie Brown special is the Thanksgiving Day special. Only because, um, yeah, it, it, it is. I think it's like no longer on TV for obvious reasons, but um, in it, Snoopy Snoopy cooks a chicken or a turkey actually it would be Thanksgiving but, uh, so it would be a turkey and feeds it to Woodstock now Woodstock is a bird and he's eating another bird does that make Woodstock a cannibal I think it makes him a cannibal he's eating another bird I think <laughs> no why not? Because it's not the same species, maybe? Oh, that was a good one, too. I don't remember that one. But they go to France. Hawks and eagles eat other birds. Yeah, but... The little yellow birds? We're mammals and we eat other mammals. Okay. You got it. If he was eating another bird of his species, though, then that would be cannibal. Like, if a hawk ate another hawk, that's cannibal. If it was interspecies, it's okay. That's a great pumpkin patch. Yeah. That's a good one, DRS. Welcome. Thanks for the sub again. All right, what are these last two? Get a hint. Got the glasses. We went into the room and got the key. We were able to get the password to get into that room. 
We got the gems. What's left? We got the flask. So the flask was in the fire, right? So it has to do something with this room. The ice room. The greatest of pumpkins. Poor kid waited up all, all night to see the great pumpkin. I think he missed it, right? Is this the flask? Where we use it. We're gonna die here, aren't we? God, cold in here. Ah, okay, we have to actually be in the room to use it. Now we could just go and get this. What the heck is this? It's an armlet. And they have no comment on that? What do we do with the armlet? This is the only other room. The armlet in here? I don't think I'm wearing it. Oh, I am. Nobody's bothering us now that we have the armlet on. Locked. Locked. It's locked. What about that other key? Locked. 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 How do we open this up? We have keys from the earlier in the game still. Try it. Um, tiny room key. Study key. Spectacles worn. Lever key. The outhouse key. Shards and seals. Missing a key for this. You know what? There's something on the ground here. V R O Y. Let me write this down. Bet you we have to change the order of things here to get something. Maybe the key that we need for the other room. R, uh, V, R, O, B, G. Rebecca, tell us what these items are. resin so is it an R? I'm gonna go in the topmost position. Using items in this game is a little bit on the weird side, but sometimes you gotta equip it. Sometimes you need to Oh, 
Well, there's one we missed. Wow. This is beautiful. Exquisite. The window's jeweled. How decadent. Maybe there's a reason for it. I don't think it's that beautiful. Can't seem to put anything back on it. Even though I'm trying to rearrange things. Either we're not putting them on in the right order, or we're just stupid. I'm just stupid. Thinking that's the way to go. So we did get that other item. I think that was a key earlier in the game. A garnet stone, I believe. Vitreous silicate mineral. Whatever. Nothing in there. Looks like. Got anything, Adam? No, we don't have anything. See where the bridge, the sky bridge lies, opening our hearts and minds. B. See if we see anything with the name with the word B in it. This is a topaz. Right, but it's false topaz. Transparent yellow variety of quartz. You don't say. Yellow variety of quartz. So go here. Don't know anymore. Need a key. Locked. Locked. All right, so we're missing a key. Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? What about a weapon? What about this? We put the staff in there. Nothing in there. Looks like something should fit into this. Got anything, Adam? All the rooms except for one. Because there's a key we can't open. This gave us the gems, but there's gotta be more to this. Could be reading too much into it. Etched star. Topmost points colored red. Must be a clue. Wow. This is beautiful. Exquisite. The window's jeweled. How decadent. Maybe there's a reason for it. What do we have that's red? Must be a clue. They give us clues, and I'm glad Rebecca's with us. She sometimes Etched helps. Star. Topmost points colored red. Must be a clue. Etched star. Topmost points colored red. Must be a clue. Etched star. Topmost points colored red. Must be a clue. So am I actually supposed to put these on here? No idea. Oh, I am. They go by color. Look at that. Figured it out. Yellow. Green. Ooh, 
blue. Turquoise. Your pronunciation is terrible, Adam. It should be pronounced turquoise. So a tortoise is actually a tortoise then. <laughs> what would you call this, Rebecca? A sapphire. A little dull, though. So this would be turquoise. It's an amethyst, a type of quartz. An amethyst. It's probably not going to be right. Something is wrong here. Rainbow key. Colored key. Aren't those the colors of the rainbow? Yes, all seven. Catch the rainbow. Colored key. Aren't those? The yes, all seven. All right. Well, we solved that, and there's one door we can't open, so it has to be this key. Still can't see that bridge going across. There we go, we opened it. Just a small chest. What is it? Health potion and whatever this is. Look at the colors in this. They're the rainbow colors, aren't they? That's what goes on on the floor outside, possibly. This is one big area. We've been playing this for a while. My first playthrough, so there was obviously uh, things I just don't know about the game. If I played it before, I'd be better at it for sure. Do I wear the glasses now in order to see the bridge? Wear this. This looks like a magical light. You're right. There was a gemstone in that socket at some point. And it, well, it, it, it feels incomplete. I bet you I fall if I step on it. So let's let's do a save, just in case. Nope, it doesn't matter. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. Which gem? There's a million gems here. What do we have that it needs? This is the only part of the game where if you click on playing with easy mode, it doesn't actually give you the items you need to solve the puzzles. Where in the rest of the game it does. We've got... Got to be more careful, got it. Easy mode is just a... It gives you items when you need them. 
we're playing it on normal anyway, so. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. We've got. Keep walking into it. I'm not a fan of that instant death, though. Yeah, not so much a fan of it. I mean, this is a point-and-click adventure game. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. It kind of plays like a I Sierra think must one. Have something it needs. You make the wrong choice and you die. The only thing I have that it has hasn't been used is just arm left. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. What do we have that it needs? A ring. Maybe the ring. Got Maybe the gem goes into the ring. The ring has no no gem, no no stone on it. Forgot about the ring. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. Yeah, it's got nothing in it. This ring we found in Raziel's mace. What of it? It was its presence that opened the gates to Raziel's tower. Why do you say that? Because of the power emanating from it. It's stronger than most things I've seen since we came to the house. This looks like a magical item. Can't tell much about it. It looks incomplete. You're right. There was a gemstone in that socket at some point, and it... I have a feeling this is what it is. Instead of the armlet. We've got not the case, we still die. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. It's not the ring, what is it? What can it be? The gem calling. Know here. Can I walk under these things by nope. We've got It's weird because it's instant death. And then as soon as you die, she tells you you gotta be more careful. Talking to a dead man. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. Which I think gem? it must have something it needs. Gem needs the ring. It's the only thing I can think of. How do we use it? I have it turned on. I'm wearing it. Are all these fake? I need to find the real one? Is that it? Not 
one thing that looks like a gem. We got to the door and it couldn't open. Let's try the glasses. They do nothing. What do you think these green crystals are? I'm not sure, but we've seen at least one of them before. My father. Right. That chain around his neck. The reason he said he was kept here. Correct. Excuse and whatever the stones are, they're very powerful. A fragment of a hole. And whatever the hole, its power is going to be like nothing we've seen yet. I don't think that has anything to do with what we do in here. Seems to be a set of pan pipes. Sounds like an instruct. Did nothing. Oh, you know what? I see something here now. But how do we get there? We've got All right. There's a gemstone in the back of the room. I need to see it. I don't know, that's a good question. I don't think I hit anything in that room. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's... Did you gem back here? This is the only other thing I, I see. I think it must have something it needs. Looks as if it'll fit into the spirit ring. The marking's the same. Give it a go. This completes this puzzle. I don't think I hit anything before. This is a lot easier than I thought. We just gotta walk back here and grab this. Complete the ring. Com All right, we got it. If we don't complete the ring, you're gonna kill us or something. Complete the ring. Complete the ring. Let's so put the ring on that. How do I complete the ring? Seriously, how do we complete the ring if I can't add this to it? Do I need a D sift to complete it or something? I thought we were clear. I thought so too. Some weird hitboxes in this game. So, the ring is now complete. Go. Now we shall be able to pass. Uh, actually, wear the ring. Remove the ring. Remove the ring. Um, what happens if we don't remove the ring? Telling us to remove the ring. We shall pass. Yes, indeed. I 
What does he mean by remove the ring? Take it off. Oh, wait. Well, good thing we removed it. Dead. Rebecca, get out of here. That, that was, a was a poor decision, Adam. You and, you and Rebecca are now my prisoners. There, there is, is no way out. The world's, the world's fate is cast. Bad ending? <gasps> Bad ending. Wait. Um. Absolutely a bad ending. We do not want to remove the ring. I don't know if it teleported me because we put on the ring. There is a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. I don't know if it killed us because we actually removed the ring like it told us to, or because we put the ring on and we should have gone through the door instead. It did teleport us somewhere here. The ring. In fact, he's telling us to complete the ring is a little shady. How do we do this? So there we go. The ring is now complete. I'm not gonna mess with the ring. It can go through the door. The door opens. Looks like the room we teleported into. Save. It's getting late. I really want to get to the next chapter. This is a very long chapter. This ring's now complete, yes? Yes. That gemstone we found seems to fit perfectly into the socket. Feels complete now. This ring we found in Raziel's maze. What of it? It was its presence that opened the gates to Raziel's tower. Yeah, I gathered that. And once we assembled it, Raziel gave us the Key of Tears. So the ring was one of his tests? I believe so. We believe so. Supposed to wear it. That's what we're supposed to do, but don't take it off. Hey, the ring. Well done, at lasers. You have successfully completed the trials. The key of tears is yours. So why is this different than last time? Last time we teleported here, it just told us to remove the ring. We did it, and we were screwed. Why didn't we get this cutscene? We did the same exact thing. Beautiful, ain't it? The key of tears. Chapter 11. Wow, that whole stream was dedicated to chapter 10. That was insane. All right. What's next? Let's at least take a look. What's next? Just walk out of here for chapter 11. It's never that easy, no. Nope.
Why would we just walk out of here? Where does the Key of Tears go? The Key of Tears. Rather a work of art, wouldn't you say? And then some. This Key of Tears is supposed to help us free Hawk. Those who have heart and need will solve Raziel's puzzle. It is said that in his tower, a key can be found that will open any lock. That key is presumed to be the Key of Tears. I remember now. Stealth is the key. Raziel said that he would grant us the key if we could solve his puzzles. Failure, I remember him saying, will have us imprisoned some stinking hell for the rest of eternity. And we will have to make sure that that doesn't happen. So what does this key get used for? Like, are we sure we need to get out of here? The only place I could think of that we need to use the key is when we first met Belial. That requires a ton of backtracking. And we absolutely need to leave here, go through the maze. It's like... Really. Adam. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. See if we could actually leave here. It's getting too late. To wake up early tomorrow. I'm working from home, but I have like guys coming to repair one of my tubs. Or sh rather a shower. To finish the reparations on another tub. They glaze the tub. water anything? We still don't know what this water is. I don't think it's anything. I think it's just on the ground. Who's getting home repairs done? I'm trying to say myself, these home repairs are only a couple and then we're done and more and more will always show up. That's the way life is. Maybe it's the bathroom? Thing's still eating the meat. That's fine. Now the bathtub upstairs was peeling. Very impressive. An elephant couldn't open these. I knew it needed to be repaired. I think the former owner, um, I think glazed it himself. No, I meant in the game. Oh, okay. Maybe it is the bathroom. The water pool in that one. Yeah, you're supposed to pee in it, I think. Like an outhouse or something. Only it's indoor, so why would it be an outhouse? So I'm under the assumption we have to go all the way back. There's a trap there. Don't want to go that way. So how do we get to the area? Oh, did you look at that. Oh snap. There's a lot of traps in here. Oh boy. So all these items are coming to life now, huh? I 
walked right through it. Yep. It was already up in the air, so maybe he psychologically just hopped over it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Okay, let's at least make it out of here. Oh, we're all the way back here again. Stuck fast. Don't budge. Stuck fast. Oh crap. Did we not save it after? I don't think we did. Yeah, we can save. I just didn't save and that was me being stupid. Now we gotta go past the cutscene again with the red things you were talking about. Hey. The ring. Well done, Adam. You have successfully yeah. completed the trials. The key of tears is yours. We don't need to watch this again. We have the key of tears. We start chapter 11. Let's save it. I'm going to exit here. We're going to save at the garden. I could open the map and at least get past that part. That fall damage. Was that necessary? Careful, Adam. One wrong move and that bell's gonna go off. May have to use help because I'm being really reckless here. I couldn't tell the lasers they don't move like that. They don't. Almost as if they have soul. soul within the lasers is controlling them. First time I left this place, I just, it was just luck. I, I didn't even know where we were going. I'm like, let's just keep turning right and see what happens. A couple of lefts. Then go down this way because it looks like a way out. Pass the yellow line from Voltron. Right. I really want to make some more progress. So we're only up to chapter 11. I think there are 20 chapters. And there's a really gruesome maze coming up that everybody keeps telling me about and warning me. Did I lose the map? Having the map on screen really, while you're going through the maze, really helps rather than keep having to look at it. It'll be easier to get us out of here. This way, then make a right. Another right. Go left, right, left. This doesn't look right, but doesn't look right at all. Took the wrong route. We're 
we're supposed to go all the way to the end here and make a lot. Across the platform. I don't know if you were here earlier, but this game stops you from save scumming. If you save on a platform... What the heck? You save on a platform... You wake up... You load the game, and it loads it in the area to your... Like, you're off the platform when it loads it, so you die instantly. This doesn't look stable. I mean, it sucks, but... It kinda... Kinda makes it a more challenging game because of that. So what am I supposed to do here? Am I, I think I'm supposed to break the ground. That thing falls into the ground. I mean, the fact that they would put that kind of failsafe in this game on purpose in 1996 is pretty interesting. No way past this, right? I just lightened the gamma by accident. Now he fell. Probably have to walk after it and then go this way. This shouldn't even be on the map. This little turn right here. It's not even on the map. That's what I meant to say. <clears throat> Either that or whoever drew the map drew it wrong. Oh, now we're going the wrong way. We're always at these two benches. We need to be a two, a, to our right, and then we go up and over. Nice part about this area, there weren't too many enemies that we had to actually kill. It was just a pain in the ass in itself. This isn't the way out. That's not the way out. How do we get out of this area? We need the ring to get in here. Just went to the back of the maze for no reason. No. 
Really? Good God, we're on the wrong side of the, the map. Go back. My own fault. Walked into that. That should have theoretically killed us. That too. get out of here. Fall. That might actually be a shortcut. That's not... we think it is. We're in the maze um, from the last game. I figured out how to get in here. Where in the maze we are, I have no idea. There's like no real landmarks in here. You find the place where you grab the ring? These are all booby traps. We're not supposed to go that way. If I can figure out where we are, I will point it out on the map. Can we also point out again where we need to go? I just want to get out of this maze before we end this. Like it's hard at this point to even know where we are. It's over here. See, this is where we got lost. This is the way back to the tower. To go straight. That's one left turn. Two. Three. Four and five. I think we want to go this way. Then here it goes straight down. Okay, so here is where we got the piece of meat, the golden piece of meat that we gave to that lion to tame him. Well, at least I know where we are. We're now here. I think the exit's here. I'm assuming. Because we went the other way and it wasn't there. Right. Left. Right. We should be okay. Left. Left. Right. Left. Left. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to get through that. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. And we're, now we're back here.
because I didn't save, obviously. But we are going to exit here off stream so that when we start the next stream, which will be on Sunday. Yeah, you do that. You keep punching. So that when we start the stream on Sunday, we'll already be out of here. We'll be almost home. We have to go back to the mansion and back towards like chapter five, where the door was that we needed. Thank you for hanging out. Herxina, thank you for the stream. DRS, Camilio, thank you for subs. Emberzino, welcome. Everybody who was here today. Braxton, thank you for coming out. Dracoon, thank you. Everybody who's been lurking, have a good night. Should be back on Sunday. No more baseball, unfortunately. Sunday's stream will be at 2.30. And yes, the show is called Nick at Night. And we're going to be streaming in the daytime. But it'll be nighttime somewhere in this world. It always is. Later, DRS. Appreciate each and every one of you. It's right, Synthetic Pound Cake. I can't stay in the stream, but he's played Alan Wake. I loved Alan Wake. So we'll shout out, or rather raid, Synthetic Pound Cake. The good guy plays retro games, usually. Real hardware. Check him out. No, it's not. Well, I screwed that up. As usual. Good night, guys. I'm tired. Not an exclamation point. It's a forward slash.